Welcome to Talking Tigers. I'm Jim Derry. As we head into Saturday's non-conference contest against Eastern Michigan, the crowd is still clamoring for yet another encore from Leonard Fournette this week. It's back at the friendly confines of Death Valley as the ninth ranked Tigers are back at home after a trip to the Northeast. Well, what can we expect Saturday? If stats mean anything, it could be a record-setting night for number seven. If he plays long enough, that is. The Eagles from Ypsilanti have the worst rushing defense in Division I and they have allowed 58 points and well over 500 yards to Army last week. To talk more about the licking of the chops and red stick, we turn to LSU columnist Ron Higgins. And Ron, when Les Miles and Cam Cameron look at the film of their opponent this weekend, one would imagine they must like what they see. Oh, they like it a lot. Uh, because, I mean, this is Eastern Michigan defense. Uh, they've given up uh, 20 plays so far, uh, 25 or more yards, and eight of them are touchdowns which plays right into Leonard Fournette's wheelhouse. And then you start looking at the inexperience of their defense. I mean, three of their uh, front seven, uh, they like to play a 3-4. Uh, they really have like two games or less starting experience. And their entire backup defense, the second teamers, have a combined four games starting experience. So, I mean, this is could, this could be a, a nice feast for Leonard Fournette. And hopefully you can play him two quarters and sit him down the rest of the way. And Darrell Williams and Darius Geis and just about everybody else. <laughs> yeah, anybody, anybody in uniform who can carry a ball will probably get a chance this week. Well, let's turn to the other side of the football. What sort of offense does Eastern Michigan run, and how does LSU's defense match up with them? Well, you know, Eastern Michigan uses a lot of different motions. They, they, they like to run the spread option. But they, use, they, they run the pistol, they run a shotgun. Brogan Rollback's their quarterback. He can make some plays. I mean, he's a really nifty ball handler. Like I said, they'll, they'll run a, a jet sweep across to other motion uh, to try to get the defense out of position. Uh, they can score. They, they've held the lead, double-digit leads in every game this year, so they can score. So, I mean, and they do have some talent over there. So, LSU's defense, they do have to come to play because this team can score. I mean, that said, uh, in the past, um, I'm guessing, I think it's like 40 years, Eastern Michigan's won six non-conference road games. One of them, however, was this year at Wyoming. So, this is a team that, you know, can make it briefly interesting, especially offensively. Well, last week was supposed to be easy, and it was anything but. So how does the team guard against overlooking a team like this? I think last week really taught them a lesson. I think if they would have played well last week, I mean, they, LSU might be sloppy this week. But because of all the penalties last week, uh, uh, they really want to sharpen things up and play as perfectly as possible, even against an inferior foe. They really want perfection this week because they were not very happy with what they played last week with all the, all the penalties they had. Well, it's that time of the week when I ask you for your prediction with the score. What you got? Oh, uh, if they're up, they're up by 35 nothing to half, I'll be, I'll be shocked. I mean, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say 55, to, 55 to nothing, 55 to three. I mean, okay. I think this will be everybody will party. Be be party at halftime. How many yards does Fournette get? Put you on so the he'll, play, he'll, he'll play two quarters, and uh, uh, he'll break a long one. I think he'll he'll get close to 200. I mean, uh, he could be in the 175, 180 range, depending how many carries he gets. But but he's going to break something long because this team is this team has been given up really long runs, and this guy can go the distance. Well, looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Ron. We'll talk to you next Thursday. All right, take care. Well, for Thursday's extra point, let's go back in time. Ten years ago today, to October 1st, 2005. Strange to think LSU is playing just his third game of the season after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita wrecked havoc on southern Louisiana. In this one, the Tigers took out their frustration of a loss to Tennessee the previous Monday by routing Mississippi State 37-7 in Starkville. And to top it off, there was something special about this victory as it was the first Southeastern, coaching victory, Southeastern Conference coaching victory for Les Miles. And he has 55 more since then and is second in school history behind Charlie McClendon. Well, that's it for today. Join us Tuesday when we review the Eastern Michigan game and peek ahead to South Carolina. See you then.